Welcome to episode 12 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics chronologically. Kind of. All right, we're heading into Detective Comics number 37. It was released in March 1940, and it is 12 pages long. The title of this one's going to be The Screaming House, and the cover has Batman throwing some guy in the fog. Is that a belly-to-back suplex he's doing? Is that what we got going on no, here? because he's, he's got the arm bar going there. Oh, I do. So. Wow, he's going to break that guy's arm. That arm is broken. <laughs> yeah, that uh, it's, getting broke. it's definitely where the arm is right now. That arm is broken. Yeah, so, he's got him by like the ribs. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's interesting. So this now is he throwing him into the water? Does he throw him into the green water, or does he throw him back at the guy that's coming at him? Oh, uh, that's true. He could be tossing him forward. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what I, I don't understand is these covers been doing us a lot recently. Uh, it's showing fog, but the fog was the last issue. <laughs> right, the cover usually doesn't have anything to do with the actual comic. I mean, once or twice it's that's happened, but now it, the reference in past comics, so I don't know what's going on there. Right. But it's just generic, they're on a dock and Batman's throwing some guy. Right, but, right. So, And for some reason in this issue, Batman's on the cover, and yet they have the Batman's face in the circle up there instead of the 64 pages. Right. I think they did that on the last one, too. I'm actually going back to the last I'm pretty sure it said the Batman on the last one, too. It definitely did at the top of the last one, if I remember right. I mean, I didn't pay attention to that one, but... Yes. I went back too far. Yes, it does. Here we go. Yeah, it does. Okay. Anyway, that's it for They've actually... God. They've actually shortened his ears a lot, but when they put when they put him in that circle on the front cover, he's got the giant bat ears. Yeah, it's like yeah. the classic Batman. Yeah, and and it's crazy because when they want him to look like imposing, they really raise those ears up. Yeah, you know, you know also notice he's really looking like Batman now too. Yeah, he's starting to really look good. Yeah, almost like current version of Batman. You know. Yeah. Except he's still got the blue on, but you know. Anyway. I like the blue. Going into the screaming house, Batman's driving in a blue convertible. Yeah, he's got a convertible. Well, don't just say he's driving. Batman is lost in a blue convertible. <laughs> he is lost <laughs> in his bat suit in a blue convertible, and he's lost. He he lost his way. What the hell? <laughs> Well, I mean, we have established that he does like to go out and drive for no reason. He was cruising, I guess. But, I mean, he lost his way. In- Is he still in Gotham? I don't know. Look on your synopsis. He's so lost. Yeah, let's see where Wait. it says. Locations. When did he get Gotham to Gotham? City. What? Well, when did he get to Gotham? What do you mean? I was still assumed we were still in New York. No, he just went back to Gotham because he was in Ma- Wayne Manor. Yeah, if they don't say where he's at, it's Gotham. If yeah. they mention it, it's somewhere else. Okay. And yeah. when, you, when you see him sitting in his, like, smoking jacket and stuff, he's right. at home. So it's at Gotham. How does he get lost in I, Gotham? I don't know. This The, the synopsis says, um, locations, Gotham City. So apparently he wandered off into the suburbs, and uh, he's lost. I don't know. I mean, he didn't have GPS back then, so. He's bad. And again, he locks... He just gets lucky because now he's lost and he still found the house where crime was going on. <laughs> yeah, he's driving by some <laughs> ab- abandoned house, I guess, in the middle of some woods that looks like it's like one of those creepy forest woods. Yeah, a giant moon. No no tre- no leaves on the trees or anything. And he hears a scream from inside this house. So Batman goes and investigates. And he it, comes- it says it sounds like a scream like a wild beast in pain. Yes. No, thank you. I'm running away from that. I'm not going into the house. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, apparently, I'm not Batman, because if it's... Okay, a person, maybe I try to save, but it sounds like a wild beast in pain. Uh, uh, oh, well. Nature takes its course at that point, right? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I might go in hoping there's, like, bacon or something. Oh, Just yeah. You get, some, you get some venison. Maybe I'm hungry, you know? And I <laughs> yeah. hear a wild beast in pain. I'm assuming somebody's going to be cooking real soon. That's where I'm at. This is I'm true. Not, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't even stop the car. <laughs> <laughs> you actually would not have stopped the car. Nope. Oh, that sounds like a scream. Okay. Bye. Anyway. so for the You don't time, stop for anything. You go where you're going and that's all. Yeah, unless his car breaks down and he stops wherever he's at. <laughs> like when I picked him up in the middle of the woods one time. Well, no, I didn't even pick him up. I went to go help him in the middle of the woods and I had to leave him there because I couldn't get his car out of the woods. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> for the first time ever, Batman uses a door. 
Oh, he does. Oh, he does. That is a good notice there because I don't think he knew. I didn't think he knew how to use doors. I <laughs> never caught that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually uses the door, and he comes upon some guys torturing some other guy. Yeah. And so Batman beats them up. Are the they? Guy. Guy. Are they burning him with like a um like a branding iron or something or a hot poker? It's. I think it is a hot poker. It looks. It looks like, like a hot poker. That's what I'm going to assume. But they yeah. are burning them. But that's all they say they're doing is that they're burning them. He does so, some kind of crazy kick and knocks both their heads together. I know that. So he beats up all the guys, frees mm-hmm. the frees the torture guy, and gets knocked out for a fifth <laughs> straight time. <laughs> Bop on the back of the head. Yeah, this time with the back of a gun. Five comics in a row, he's been knocked unconscious. I feel like if you got a pillow fight with Batman and hit him in the back of the head, he would go down. It doesn't matter what they're hitting him with. He's got a soft spot still or something back there. Apparently, because this is the fifth straight comic. It's ridiculous at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, so the guy that was being tortured knocks out Batman and shoots the other guys that were torturing him and spares Batman because Batman saved him. Yeah, and Batman didn't see who he was or something, he says, right? Yeah, he didn't know who he was. Didn't know anything about it. Yeah, yeah Batman saw, didn't know anything about he it. He just saw some guy being tortured and decided to save him. Right, and, so and he, he saved him. his name's Joey. Right. Right. Anyway, so Batman wakes up and thinks he kills the guy for a minute. He's like, I didn't hit them that hard. <laughs> well, because he killed so many people, he's not sure if he killed people yeah. or not. <laughs> I thought about giving him these deaths because he did knock them out, but I don't think that's fair. No, that guy went over and shot them. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so Batman goes home and learns about the grocery store somehow. I don't know where he got this book from. Well, he goes and looks at a bunch of different people named Turg. Okay. And then um, that's the grocery store, I guess, because it's it's in a bad neighborhood. He realizes that that's the one. <laughs> right. Um, but no, actually, it's not what happened. So the guys were torturing the, him, and they mentioned Turg. That's why he right. got the names. Right. But he, he, the other two turks that he looked up were upstanding citizens, so they couldn't have possibly done it. Right, but the one that he goes to is on a, on a grocery store, which seems to be in a very bad street for business, well, so know, it doesn't seem but, right. But that's why the other two are upstanding citizens. There's no way it could have been them. There has to be this one. It has to be this guy. Okay. okay. So I mean, I, so you've was... seen the bodega that the guys are on, okay? It's, just, <laughs> it's obvious, okay? So, uh, I thought this was weird, but this is probably just a product of time. Bruce Wayne goes into the supermarket, goes up to the teller, and orders a bag of a pound of sugar. Yeah. And then walks out with a bag of sugar. Well, yeah. while he's ordering his, his pound of sugar, he's smoking his pipe the whole time, too, which looks really weird inside the store anymore. Yeah, that's true. But the yeah. <laughs> and then, the, but the owners come out of the back. So... Bruce Wayne leaves with a bag of sugar. Wasn't sh- I, was sugar sold in bags like that? They didn't have it on the shelf. I would think it was in like a barrel or something. Like it probably wasn't shipped prepackaged. It was probably like a giant thing of sugar, and they scooped it out. So down south in like the fifties and sixties, I don't know what it was like up here because I, I just from reading stuff and listening to com- listening to podcast they used to get shipments like truckloads of these huge bags of sugar and down south you would go in and you would buy it by the pound you'd actually sometimes take it take a five gallon bucket with you to pick up your sugar and those guys were using it for moonshine so you could buy it that way but i don't know how it was like in in gotham it looks like you could do it that way it feels like it would be more expensive to buy single pound bags of sugar. So, I mean, if you owned a grocery store, I guess you would buy it in bulk and then you would just sell it off by the pound. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It just just seems weird because of all the boxes and cans on the back shelves in the one panel. True, (laughs) true. They do have already prepackaged stuff. Um, But, like, this is is just one of those product of the time things, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, after Bruce leaves the supermarket, he comes back to Batman and says, I'm not buying anything this time, pretty much revealing that he was a customer here before. <laughs> right, this time. So, when were you here before? Oh, you were the guy with the pipe that was here that looked weird anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who rich, didn't belong in this neighborhood. The rich guy yeah. that didn't belong in the neighborhood, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, Batman c- walks in on these guys planning, right? Yeah, I, don't know. I, I guess if you're sitting around a table and Batman walks in, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> 
Because that's, I don't know what they're doing, but Batman came in and they were sitting around a table and he's like, oh, screw this. We're getting these guys. They're sitting around a table. They're doing something wrong. I mean, it looks like they're planning to blow up the boat that they're going to do later, but... It doesn't help that they automatically say shoot him when he walks in. I, I was just going to say the same thing. Whether they were doing something right or wrong, they say... It's the Batman shooting. Yeah, so there you go right there. <laughs> yes. So Batman Now you're comes, guilty. So Batman comes in and asks Joey how's his chest in. That's going to be important in a moment. But anyway, after that, the guys pull out their guns, and then the lights go out. Batman hits the light switch. Yes. And, and puts on goggles that allows him to see in the dark. We got some night vision goggles, and we got Batman turning the lights out. I like this already. But <laughs> this was before night vision goggles, so this was impressive. Well, he's a scientist, you know? He's, yeah. He is a scientist. Because it, it doesn't say infrared vision or night vision no. goggles. It says he created these goggles so he can see in the dark like a bat. A queer yes. type of glasses from its almost invisible support upon the black cow. That's where, yeah. They, this is this comic's ahead of its time. Yep. They try and shoot Batman in the dark, but Batman kind of beats them up. Yeah, and then it just runs and just runs away. <laughs> this is what I yeah, this is what I was going to say. I have it written down in my notes. I'm like, so Batman went in there, kicked all their asses, and then left for no reason. Like he didn't find nothing out. He didn't drag nobody out of there. And but then the boss kills Joey with the knife because Batman said his name. This does count towards Batman. Batman Are you blaming Batman for this one? <laughs> Batman got him killed because he come in and say, "Hey, Joey, how's it going?" And then he left. He left. <laughs> Left him alive and watched as he gets stabbed because he's hiding behind the barrel and two frames now. out. Oh, yeah. He doesn't try to save him and then he pops out later and says, Oh, sorry, Joey. That's a shame for you. Yeah. In, yeah. in Batman's defense, he saved the guy and then the guy knocked him out and killed three guys. True. This is true. But it's, it's kind of a justice thing. But at the same time, these guys are apparently foreign spies, and Joey's trying to stop them, essentially, as a patriot, essentially, like like he says in the battle down here. So he just let him get killed by these guys. He does as say, a get patriot, him. why wouldn't he turn those other three guys over to the cops and not kill them? Well, he's trying not... to infiltrate. Maybe he's trying to infiltrate no, them. He's, that's why they were torturing him, because he was betraying them. Uh-oh. In the he tells him, well, yeah, but then why do you whack Batman in the back of the head and then kill him? Because they didn't want them to go back and tell him so he can continue his undercover work. Uh, oh, and that's why he didn't kill Batman, because he wasn't the, you Batman know, he wasn't saved with him. him. Yeah. Right. Batman saved him. So Batman got this guy killed. Yeah. He says, get him for the good old USA, and Batman says, don't worry, I'll get him for you. So this is death count 14. All right, we're uh... giving it to him. Nope. Uh, we got a little we got a little objection on this one. I don't know. I I I'm, I could go either way. Nope. I I mean Batman didn't physically do it by his hand. I know he stood idly by, but it's an accessory. It still counts. If Batman guilty had, by association, if I Batman, guess. If Batman hadn't walked in and said, Hey Joey, how's it going? Then beat them up and then hid, he wouldn't have got stabbed and died. This yeah. Would, it wouldn't have happened. I'm on the fence with this one. And Batman could have saved him. Could have easily saved him. I think Batman kind of wanted him, wanted it to happen. So I guess I'll give it to you. Yeah, he. I think is... he kind of was like, "Up, oh, this is my revenge. I'll let these guys kill him." So. <laughs> Screw Joey. Get him out of here. I'll anyway. teach him to knock me out. Yeah. <laughs> he goes to the docks, chasing after them, and then Batman gets a giant bag dropped on the back of his head and gets knocked out again. <laughs> Twice in one comic. Yeah, this is the sixth knockout in five consecutive I comics. told you. I told you he's got a soft spot on the back of his head. He does. It's, yeah. it's official. This is ridiculous at this point. I don't it's know, a bag. I don't know what was in the bag because they put him in the bag afterwards and it's roam into the ocean. Yeah, was it like a trash bag and they just dumped all the trash out and shoved Batman in there? I'm just thinking it was a bag. <laughs> it's just a, an empty bag. It's a big ass burlap sack, but there was I told you, in you it when it hits him. I told you you hit him with a pillow on the back of the head, and he's going down. It's got a soft spot. <laughs> wow. So anyway, the gangsters throw Batman into the ocean, or I while guess, he's knocked out. Yeah, I don't know what out. it is. He pulls out a knife, cuts himself free, swims back up, and yeah. starts attacking him. The cold water woke him up when he was knocked out. By the yeah. way, yeah, I, I forgot. He throws yeah. them into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> And then he jumps, he catches up to the boat that's speeding away, that's about to blow up some ship here. I don't know what it is, which, what's 
the point of the shit. Well, we do find out that he runs like a human bullet and he oh. streaks across the platform. Of course he does. He's yes. He's superpower. <laughs> His feet run, feet run like you never run before and he does make that boat. He jumps right onto the boat. I guess they were sending uh, an unmanned boat to crash into the other boat? Is that what they were doing? Yeah. Yes, it was loaded with explosives and they gotcha. had tied the wheel to steer right into right. the giant. I don't yeah, I don't know what the ship is that that's going to crash into, but the foreign or these foreign agents are sp- by trying to cause a war. I don't know between who, but this right. is apparently supposed to start a war. Batman somehow knows who the head guy is, goes to his house, uses the front door again, knocks essentially. The butler opens it and he knocks out the butler. <laughs> well, because the butler pulls a gun on him. Does he? Yes. Yeah, because he says he says something new. Butler's carrying guns now. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and he punches the butler in the face. Then he comes upon the leader, who is, surprised the leader of the gang. There's a lot of Scooby-Doo stuff going on here. Like, there's a lot yeah. of times where the guy takes his makeup off and he's somebody else. Surprisingly. Well, no, this is not what, that's not what happened here. At the last meeting, they said they were going, they were going to meet with the head boss. But this guy was just pretending that he wasn't the head boss when he actually was the head boss. Ah, I got you. There was no mask or anything. No, but it says. It says right here. Uh, look, it's you, Turg, without your gray wig, your phony mustache, and your glasses. Oh, you're right. Nope, you're right. Yeah, because yeah. he was the guy in the green suit with the white wig and stuff. On. Right, yeah. right. No, you're okay. Yep, you're right. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> and then he th- Turg throws a knife at Batman. He opens the door and uses that to block it. He really yeah. learned how to use doors in the last two comics. Yeah, he's using the doors a lot. And he uses it again after he punches Turk into a knife. And he gets stabbed in the back of the neck, it looks yeah. like. If he didn't murder Turk, then Turk would have said, I would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you would meddling you kids. Would have woven into that tapestry. Yes, I might have gotten away with it, too. If it wasn't for these blasted kids and their dogs, then you... Yeah, so... <laughs> Batman's death count goes up to 15 here. Yeah, he definitely killed I mean, Turk. Turk gets part of that kill. He threw the knife into the door so hard, it went through the wooden door. That's fair, too. But Batman didn't have to punch him into it. Right. Batman knew what he was doing. Well, he kind of needed to punch him into it. And then there's like a little monologue at the end, and Batman really loves the word queer. He uses it two times in this monologue. Queer case... A very queer case. It uh, The word was really common then. Though. It must have been. It doesn't sound right when they use it anymore, but it must have been really It was common. a very common word back then. All right. So the last panel has next month, the Monster Men, Man Monsters. Spoilers, it's not in next month's Detective Comedy. It is <laughs> not. But I, I, know, I know for a fact it's not in the next two. I was but, looking for it. But <laughs> it is one of the stories... And the April Batman number one. Oh, cool. Uh, I was kind of mad because I was like, where did the monsters go? Because those things look awesome. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, No, it's the, I think it's the third story in Batman number one. Okay. Oh, that's might be the next one I read. But yeah, so they, it's weird that they advertise it, but not explain it. But it does say the mighty Batman down there, so maybe that was an indicator that was number one, because it doesn't say Detective Comics anywhere in here. No, it says America's Greatest Adventure Mystery Action Strip, though. Yeah, but it's 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 weird that it's advertising in this comic and doesn't. So, you know, maybe they decided, because the next issue is really important, let's yeah. push this back and put it in Batman number one because they decided oh. to go with what they're doing next the next comic. They're like, oh, we're gonna use that Batman number one, so let's just push this back and get him get this established. Right, because I they want you're right. It's probably exactly what happened. Yeah, you're right. Anyway. The next comic is awesome. So let's go do it. Before we do that though, <laughs> did we like this one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one this one was a little goofy in the beginning. Batman's lost and and, and I don't I mean, it came back around at the end. It was a little weird, this one, to be honest with you. The story was I I liked strange. it, but the story was just, it was a little even more off the wall than normal. Yeah. And you didn't fully get an explanation for everything, but I but I liked it. I, the drawings were really good. The, the story was good. It just was, they left some stuff out, I guess, but. I don't know if in these short stories, if they just don't have enough time to explain, like, how he finds out where these people live. <laughs> You know, the I, guy he's always doesn't just know where up. he is. He gets lost in Gotham. But right, shows up at this guy's front door. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Him. Yeah, by that. All right, Uncle Chris, who was in this one? All right, we had Batman. We had Elias 
Turg or Camp Grut. It was his only appearance. And then we had three that they were only their only appearances. We had Carl, Al, and Joey, and that was it. Okay. Yeah. So and he's only appearance because he's dead now. Right. Anyway, is that it for this one? Uh, that's all I got for this one. All right, then, Uncle Chris, take it <laughs> away. What does Batman put in his beverages? What? Just ice. Justice. Just ice. Oh, boo! <laughs> yeah, that was a bad one. <laughs> boo! <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't even. Bye! Out. Bye!